What's going on, everybody? It's Childish. We're back at it again with the next Hall of Hero announcement for the month of November. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It just came out last night. We have found out that Lupinus is going to be the next Hall of Heroes, the Win Magic Knight, guys. If you're not familiar with this, once a month, every month, come to us, gives us the opportunity to collect this four star monster or a four star monster from the HOH dungeon here. So we're gonna have about three days from November 10th through November 13th to go ahead and collect 250 pieces so that we can summon five of these units. Now, if this was 2015, and I would have been like, you know what, I'm not really excited about this unit, but I'll tell you what, after the recent change with regards to the Magic Knights all around, I'm really excited for the Summoners War community to go ahead and take advantage of it. So let's go ahead and take a look at why this unit is definitely one you want to get. So if you guys didn't hear, it was about a couple of months back, they recently did a revamp on the Magic Knights, making them all definitely viable for different aspects of the game here. Um, with this particular one, Lupin is here, the first skill, all of them have that Blaze Surge, but uh, her mechanic that's added on it after the uh, first two hits on the uh, monster that you're targeting, as well as the third hit hit in AoE, is an enemy attack speed decrease for two turns. So that's really, really nice. Uh, second skill, Magic Surge, similar to the one that I have on my Iris, right? The Light Magic Knight here, being able to uh, hit the opponent one target for three times and try to silence it for two turns with a 75% chance. So really, really high activation rate, which should make it a little bit uh, pretty reliable. And then, of course, the last one here, Tempest Sword, hitting one enemy for two times and then attacking all enemy enemies, similar to the uh, first skill, uh, hitting one enemy two times and attacking all enemies for the third time. But this one here does damage proportionate to the enemy's max HP and decreases the attack bar by 30% each. So... Uh, obviously, we got the leader skill here that we're going to be able to take advantage of, the universal leader skill. So, I mean, without question, this particular unit, the mechanics that it's going to be bringing to the table can help you for a ton of different aspects of the game. But let's go ahead and talk about the one that everyone's going to be really focused on, uh, and I believe that's going to be TOA. Okay, TOA hard, uh, more specifically speaking. So um, let's talk about some of the mechanics of TOA uh, hard teams and what really allows you to clear some of those harder stages or the boss stages, okay? You got about four to five different mechanics that are really important. You got attack bar manipulation, you got stuns, you got dots, uh, you have any kind of uh, uh, slow, all right, and any kind of inability effects, right? Stuns, sleeps, freezes, and whatnot here. So when you think about this, you know, what it's currently bringing to the table here, we have an attack slow on the first, we got a silence on the second, and then we have... Uh, the attack bar reduction on the third. So it has a little bit of everything that you need. Pair this up with a despair set. Um, this particular unit, it is an HP based monster. So you're going to be looking at a, I believe you're going to be looking at a fastier, uh, fastier, faster, faster, you know, tankier setup here. Um, you know, utilize it as a support based sponsor. Speed, HP, HP, speed, HP, defense, HP, defense, HP with speed subsets, whatever you need to do. Get it onto the spare set. If you can swing a revenge set, that'd be great because it has that AoE mechanic on the first skill. Um, I think this is really going to fit well in some of those TOA hard teams that you need to go ahead and provide that. Um, you know, one of the teams that a lot of people utilize, um, you know, you got Beretta, you got Veramos, you got Bella or Chasun for that healer spot. And then, of course, you got a couple of plus ones and plus twos, depending on what you need. A lot of people like to utilize Mav. A lot of people like to utilize uh, Brienne if you have or if you need uh, another unit that's going to be providing Despair and a HP Disturb. But if you don't need HP Disturb and you're utilizing your team uh, and you have a lot of crowd control, then I feel like uh, Lupinus is going to be a nice one to fit in there. So, I mean, think about it. With Mav uh, being able to assist with that speed buff co uh, combined with the speed lead on Beretta, you have a ton of turns that you're going to be generating uh, in addition to Mav's uh, third skill being able to reduce the counter times. Now, let's not get it twisted here. This skill is going to be for three turns, and this one will get reduced down to three turns. So having a uh, unit that's going to have relatively low cooldown times is really going to help you uh, cycle through those skills so that you can constantly keep the opponent down. Okay, And here's the funny thing about it here. We're, we're really excited about the attack bar. We're, we're really excited about the slow. But one of the things that I know that a lot of people definitely underestimate um, Especially if you're utilizing like a unit like Beretta or a unit that has a very high uh, attack bar reduction kind of a skill here. Um, if it fails, right, sometimes you get in the situation where things get a little crazy or whatnot. So this particular skill right here, Magic Surge, 
is super strong for the TOA hard bosses. Being able to silence these bosses, not allowing them to use their second and third skills, which of course is like the bread and butter of this unit here, really can make the difference, especially if the uh, boss is has a specific element and you bring another unit out there to go ahead and tank that monster, um, take the hits while you're crowd controlling the fight here. So really, really unique. Definitely want to make sure, again, you have enough accuracy to get it done. When it comes to TOA hard, uh, or just TOA in general, I generally run any Anywhere between uh, 50 to 65 accuracy. I think people will recommend as low as 45 and as upward as like 60 to 65. I personally have done really, really well with 65. So again, uh, despair revenge on this one and make it fast, make it tanky. Um, you're going to take a little bit of a hit because of the base speed being low, but overall, uh, it's still going to be worth your time to utilize, okay? Um, when it comes to uh, other aspects of the game, you have Necropolis, you've got the Dark Rift Beast. Any opportunity to take advantage of this unit's both the hits or the mechanics of its uh, main three skills there, um, you could take advantage of. I mean, you could even throw this in Giants B10 if you wanted to. I don't think it's going to be the optimal choice. Uh, maybe if you're early to mid game, this will be another option here if you're using it on the tanky set. And of course, you know, you have the opportunity to get those swift and despair shots early on. You could take advantage of it. But, you know, if you are super late game and you already have your speed based teams, obviously you're not going to be utilizing this. But if you're relatively new, yeah, sure, you could take advantage of this. And it wouldn't be too much of a waste because. Because again, all the multi hits is going to be bringing to the mix, right? You can take advantage of us down the road in the Necropolis B10 if you're looking to create a composition to get those Nemesis uh, runes, to get those Will runes, whatnot, to get those Vampire runes. Um, it is a really, really cool monster. So again, guys, if you have the opportunity to spend some time and get this monster, definitely do so. It is going to be worth your time. Obviously, uh, if you utilize any other ones, if you have already the uh, Lapis uh, already built and whatnot, you can take advantage of the skill ups. But ultimately speaking, if you're looking for another monster that you can take advantage of when it comes to some of those tough TOA uh, stages or the TOA boss stages, the aspect, the speed, the silence, the attack bar reduction, and the enemy's max HP um, paired with the despair stuff of this really makes this a great plus one for any TOA hard boss composition, okay? That's going to be it, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys are thinking about this monster. Obviously, uh, when I first looked at it, like most, I was probably like, oh, cringe fest. It was not one of my... Uh, you know, most exciting things. But again, that was 2015, and this is now uh, all the Magic Knights have gotten uh, rev uh, revamped. And so the fact that the fact of the matter is that this is definitely a great monster uh, for you guys to go ahead and take advantage of this Holy Heroes weekend. Okay, that's gonna be it, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. It's your boy Childish or Childish Plays checking out. Take care, and we will see you all in the next Holy Heroes video. Bye. -bye. Check this out.